how's everybody doing today we're gonna be covering over a simple topic i've covered over something similar to it i'm recovering over how to use mysql or mysql with python uh, here on the channel we have a sqlite tutorial with just the basic sqlites and also with python but today it's going to be mysql with python so for anyone that doesn't know uh, mysql it's, it's probably i think it's one of the most popular sql uh, types out there but it's basically just a database where you can store all your information and everything you need. Uh, it's used for servers and websites use it to store information. And today we're just going to be covering over some of the basic uh, things that you can use with it. And the first thing you want to do is actually go ahead and install it. And to install it uh, here on Ubuntu, you want to have to make sure you have Python, of course, and then you also want to install the SQL client, but the actual module, the actual uh, package for Python and MySQL, it's going to be this right here. Uh, for most operating systems, I believe they all use pip. I'm going to have these links in the description, but it's just showing how to install it. And just as such. And that's basically it. We're just going to jump right into it right now. So now that we're in the file, we're going to want to go ahead and import the library, which is just going to be MySQL. But for our sakes, we're going to use a link called connector. And that's going to be able to do everything that we need underneath it. So now once we've got that done, we want to go ahead. You're going to have a database. Uh, a system set up and when you install it it'll probably ask you for everything it's going to need like a user and a password and whatnot and we'll just call it mymdb mysql connector dot connect let's open this up right here and in here it's going to have a host and you're going to want to put in your host name which in most cases is local host and then you want to put in your user and your password. So once you've done that, we can actually pull up, make a cursor, and a cursor is what you can use to actually access the things in the database. MyDB.cursor. It'll just be like that. And at the very end of your file, this is how you open it, but you wanna make sure you close everything. So you'll just have my cursor dot close and my DB close and now basically what this is going to do it's just going to set up connection to your database or to your sql server and it's going to make a cursor so you can actually go ahead and uh, sift through that server and then you're going to want to close it so if you don't have a database already you can easily create one with uh with a command just called so you use a in with a cursor you use a command for executing so we, my cursor dot execute. And this is the way you can send in almost all the commands. And it's just gonna be create database, my database. And every time you execute a command, you just wanna do mydb.commit. And as you can see right here, it's gonna actually create your database and this is gonna be called my database. So let's say you've already done this before and now you have a different script that you wanna be able to enter in this database you can just go up here and you can set it as database and you just do the name of it which is my database and then you don't need this anymore and as you can see it's actually it can look in that database and pull everything out of it okay and now right here i just put in my information so i can actually access the things in my database um someone pointed out on reddit there's an easier way of doing this but i just read the file so i can pull out all of my a password or whatnot but now we have our database loaded now we can actually go ahead and edit some of the things in the database itself so one really easy thing we can do is actually just to test everything we'll just have it so we can read everything that's in the database and we'll read everything up this way it'll just be execute and it'll be show databases and for data in my cursor so this is actually it's not going to read everything in the database it's going to show what databases there are so we can go ahead and actually run this. And right here, it listed all the databases that we have, um, at least that I have on here. So now actually looking in the database itself, here on this table, we see that there's these options that we're gonna to try to go ahead and change. There's an ID, there's something called the T code. There's player one and player two, and a player three as well. So there's all these uh, individual, and we're just gonna to wanna to go through and edit some of the rows. So the first thing we want to do is actually pull some of the information. Okay, so right here, 
this execute command is going to make it so you can pull the actual information from the table and you can send in which columns you want you don't have to grab all of them and then you can actually loop through them like this right here if we do this right here it'll print out the whole entire row and if you can actually send it in like in a list or an array and you can tell which one you want to pick up so this one right here should be the t code so it'll print out the whole thing and afterwards it'll just print out the t code and we can go ahead and run this right here and as we can see it works right here it has the whole row everything that we asked for and then afterwards it printed out the t code which was well it starts with a zero so this one's zero that one's one so this one's the t code right there and as you can see that worked okay now if you want to be able to um, insert into it i'll just do my cursor execute and make sure you do the commit as well and you break this line up so you can see it a little bit better So it's going to be insert into, and that'll be the name of the table. And then you can, in these parentheses, you just put the ones that you want to insert into it, the values, and then it'll say values. And then in parentheses right here, this is a little Python trick. You just do parentheses S, parentheses S for how many there are. And then it's a comma after the quote. And then you can actually send in the value right here. So this one's going to be the first one, player one, player two. That's going to be these four values right here. And let's just put this back up there. Now that we see when we run this, we're going to insert these four values into new row. So let's check it out right here. Reload the page. And as you can see right here, we made a new row where we didn't define all the numbers like that ID filled in itself, but we gave it that and that as well. And we set it as round 10. Now can I say you want to edit something that's already in a row. We're just going to use the update command. So the update will be update and then the name of the table and then set and then round number will be equal to where T code is equal to this. So we're going to change the round number to 11 where the T code is 125, one, one, two, three, four, five. So right here, that's going to be this one that we just put in and the round number is going to be changed to 10. And before we run it, in this case, we're just going to put these in quotes. So we pass it as a string and afterwards, if you were to pull it, you can convert it back to an integer and just works a little better in this case and it was make sure to commit it and we'll run it there's no error and if we reload this page all right we grab the one two three four and then it set the new round the 10. so as you can see that worked right there and now the very last thing we're going to cover is just showing how to delete a row same thing execute and also the commit and here in this execute command in the quotes, we'll do delete from the name of the table in the bracket where we'll just do t code equals, we're going to send it in right here, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we can put this right here in the quote. Let's try that such. You can see that ran. Let's reload the page. And it's 19. It's gone. So now the one that we've created is gone. And that's basically the thing we had to cover today. We showed how to create a database and how to simply install Python, um, install the Python MySQL library. And along with inserting, viewing, updating, and deleting rows in a table. Uh, it's a lot more complex. There's a lot more things you can do with it. But that's just something very simple that we did. And this database that I was showing you is actually used for a website friend and I are making. It's a tournament-based website where you can play games with your friends and win cash. Uh, it's not completely done, but I just want to go ahead and quickly show it to you guys just to show what there is already. I'll go ahead and log in, and we can see new matches here. You can see right here there's a match and a tournament that are available, and under here is view. And you can join for 180 credits, and now it says I joined. This is basically a match in CS:GO on Dust2 or Nuke Deathmatch, and it has the person that's played it. It's a match on Steam, but there's matches basically for a lot of games out there on almost every single console that's available. And there's just an entrance fee. There's amount of people that can join. And there's it shows right here the days till the game starts. Once it starts, a chat pops up. You can chat with people. You get assigned a team, or you can play with your friends. And basically, you put in credits that you buy, and whoever wins gets a, a pot of credits, or they get some sort of award. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and check it out. Uh, you guys can go ahead and sign up. It's not ready yet, but if you sign up now, 
uh, an email will be sent out to you guys letting you know when it's ready. Also, when you sign up, you need to confirm your email. And it's possible your, your the email for the confirmation might go into your junk mail. So go ahead and just check for that. The website's thechamps.co. And I'll have the links for everything else I've talked about in the description as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and see you guys again next time.